In this video, I'm going to go through question 11 in exercise 4b. Um, I've actually worked through it here, so I'm just going to explain um, how we tackle it. We're given a cubic equation, there it is, and we're told that the roots are alpha, k alpha, and k squared alpha, where k is a real constant. Um, so we know that the value of a is 1, so um, b over a is going to be minus 14, um, c over a is going to be 56, and so on. Um, and it may be worth just, I'm going to write down the relation between the roots and the coefficients because that's really important. So we have alpha plus beta plus gamma, the three roots, are going to be equal to uh, minus b over a. Now in this case, because a is 1, that's just minus b, so it's going to be equal to 14. Then we have all the um, pairs. Um, I'm going to write this in a shorthand. I'm going to put sigma, alpha, beta, and what I mean by that is all the possible pairs. So alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma, and that equals c over a plus c over a, because the signs alternate. And then we have um, the one triple, there is only one triple, alpha beta gamma, and that is um, minus d over a, remember the signs alternate. So if we apply that to this question, we get, we get these three equations, um, 14, but I'm, Make sure that it's to minus sign. 14 equals um, alpha plus k alpha plus k squared alpha. I've just factorised out the alpha. 56 is equal to um, this expression. So that's the where we're adding all the pairs. And again, alpha, well, alpha squared is a factor here. And then finally, we get 64 equals k cubed alpha cubed, which is the same thing as k alpha cubed. So we can deduce from that that k alpha equals 4. Um, which means that alpha can be expressed as 4 divided by k. And if we express, if we substitute 4 divided by k into that first equation, then um, we get this, um, which is a disguised quadratic, in fact. Um, so by rearranging it and multiplying through by k, we get 4k squared, etc., which simplifies to this quadratic which factorizes nicely. Um, that gives us two values of k. Um, and from that, we can deduce that two possible values of alpha are 8 and 2, because we know that the product of alpha and k is always 4. So if k is half, alpha must be 8. If k is 2, alpha must be 2.